Hey y'all, this is Kelly at Crochet Moth for Life. Just taking me a little walk this morning. I'm off today. It's a uh, beautiful, well, it's kind of overcast, but it's really quite pleasant out here. February day. And uh, as usual, it feels like spring. Things are starting to uh, bud a little bit. Then we're going to get us a cold snap, probably, and kill the buds. It's the M MO, usually, or whatever, however you want to say it. But So, I thought I'd get out here and just take a walk. That's my little, my little house, my little home back there. My hubby, he has really worked hard on it over the winter he put us a, a new roof on it and uh put some new trimming on the outside and um improved the looks quite a bit he's really worked hard he's been out of work since november it's uh ready for him to get back on the road and get back to work but i am enjoying everything he's been doing here lately around our place but I'm out here trying to get a few steps in. I've been crocheting a little bit this morning like I do every morning when I can. Just not being able to complete it all as fast as I want to. But I don't reckon that matters, does it? Look like a hot mess. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... I just uh, wanted to kind of take you along with me a little bit and show you a few little things on our little walk. He's really worked hard um, trying to uh, clean up a lot of the debris and things that we've had over the years to the hurricane. You can't really work on this stuff in the summer because of uh, red bugs and poison ivy and snakes rattlesnakes to be honest we have a lot of them around here but he has really tried to clean out all this um, down trees and everything and our neighbor did a brush pile or whatever last couple of years and it he got away from them and it burnt some of our woods and so we had a lot of um trees and things to die so he's been clearing all that up kind of aggravated him a little bit but with our neighbor doing that but that's the thing with fire you start playing with it it could get out of control so but I'm really tickled over this little spot that he's worked on, and I helped him some. Let me see. Right there, man. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. He's going to put my bench up here and, um, where I can sit on it sometimes. And um, he, uh, Somebody brought us some birdhouses that he, they made, and he told me he put one up up here somewhere. I'm going to try to see if I can find it. His buddy brought some flying squirrels, a pair of them. So we're hoping they're still sticking around. And uh, he's going to, uh, I think, set my bench out there, put the bird house up, see what we can see. We really like looking at our birds. But he built this fence. He repaired it and built it back. And he's pretty proud of it. See, we got this little gate going on. Ooh, bug. And let me see if I can go this way. Look at that. My hubby is a jack of all trades, and he masters most of them. But I like these. I think these are like magnolia bushes. I've kind of cleaned up around them. Magnolia trees. I've cleaned up around them when we was cleaning all the stuff to uh, keep them from being smothered so much so maybe they'll start growing really tall 
or taller than what they was. But here's my new little path or walking area. Let's see if that shows it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm enjoying my little job. I worked last night. I'm off today, and then I work tomorrow, and then I'm off Friday. So I've had a couple of pretty good nights. Not too many mess ups. Uh, but yeah, I got tagged this morning by Miss Tracy at Crochet Crochet Rossetti. I just love that channel and for the granny square challenge so I'm digging in my little stash I'm thinking about making a bag because I can make a bag quick you know a blanket y'all know a blanket takes me forever and a day so I think I'm gonna make a, me a project bag with it and uh, see if I can get that done by March 18th but I appreciate Miss Crochet Rosetti tagging me you know Sometimes us smaller channels, we need some love too, you know. And uh, just when you think you ain't loved, somebody tags you. And so I appreciate that, really. I really do. So if you're not subscribed to Miss Tracy at Crochet Rosetti, you need to go over there and check her out. Because uh, she does some beautiful, beautiful work. And... Uh, I wish I could go up there and hang out with her one day. There's a lot of you I wish I could hang out with. But she's one of them. And uh, anyway. So, I guess I'm going to hop off here. Y'all got a close-up of me today. No, no filters. <laughs> Whatever a filter is. I don't know what a filter is. I was looking at something on... Facebook the other day, you know, back in the 80s, our filters was taking a marker and making mustaches and stuff on your pictures, or uh, taking some white out and wiping you out, you know. That's how we filtered and blocked back then. In the olden days, as my little granddaughter says, Brindley, off that Peppa Pig. Well, y'all, I'm going to hop off here. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good day. And uh, do some crochet in the day. It's good therapy. Bye.